Hello, everybody. Border to Border, my next band reacting to my little friend Fred with magic. This is season eight, episode twenty-four. Father knows best. Now, this is the last episode before the finale, and normally I would recorded this yesterday on Saturday, but I decided to record it today on Sunday. And that's not going to be the only thing I'm recording today because I think I'm also going to be doing Doctor Who. So, I think everything is good to go. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am, and. Looks like my camera's not blurry. I don't know why it gets blurry some days and not the others. So, um, sorry about that. So here we go with this in three, a two, a one. What the heck? <laughs> Spike's getting better at flying, it looks like. Oh. Okay, Spike. Now let's try a flip. Remember, two a flips, flip. then straight up. Got it. Uh. <clears throat> Ow. What the heck is going on? You're doing great, Spike. Now let's see the big finish. The big finish. Well, he did a flip. Sort of. I don't know about big, but I am definitely finished. Maybe I should get Rainbow yeah. Dash. She's the one who taught me advanced flying techniques. No thanks. If I'm gonna mess up, I'd rather do it in front of you. Aww. I just don't understand why none of your advice is helping. Because she's teaching you to fly like a pony instead of a dragon. What's the difference? Well, we don't have feathers for starters. Huh. That's a good point. Yes! Well, that actually worked out better. <laughs> Needed to bend my wings. Honestly, this is Dragon 101. Usually, Dragon parents teach this stuff. Uh oh. Spike, I've been thinking about our flying lesson. Uh huh. I can't believe I overlooked something as simple as feathers. It's no wonder you were having trouble. I wish I had more dragonish yes, knowledge is... to give you. Do you think being raised by ponies has affected you in other ways? Spike? That's Did a good you say point. something, Twilight? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just finishing up this thank you throw pillow for Smolder. And you know how I get when I'm in the embroidery zone. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you didn't hear anything she said. It's a pillow, but not for your head. Although it could be. It's a throw pillow. They're more casual. You can use them anywhere. <clears throat> okay. Like it. uh, it's not that. It's just dragons don't really use pillows at all. What? Hey, what's that? I don't know. It's heading right for us! Looks like a meteor. Well, that wasn't. Oh, Aww. Now I really owe you for the lesson. <clears throat> Man, that sucks. There. <laughs> hey there, young dragons. <laughs> Name Sludge. How are your tail shaking? What? You alright? Yeah. <clears throat> what happened? To what? Uh, Ow. I don't need to explain myself to a couple of baby dragons. Ooh. Must have been some fall. Maybe not, but you're hurt and need help. So I'm taking you to Twilight's castle whether you like it or not. Castle, eh? A castle? I'm glad Spike <laughs> brought you here, Sludge. I understand you made quite an impression in town. Literally, there's a hole in everything. <laughs> well, yeah, there I is. You're not expecting me to fix it. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're in much shape to do anything. I'll manage. Dragons take care of themselves. I don't need help from a bunch of castle living ponies. <laughs> Darling, do be careful. I'm still fine. I can't. No, he's not. <clears throat> You're not the first stubborn dragon we've met, you know. 
And sometimes, even dragons need help. I promise, my friends and I will only do enough to get you back on your claws. Uh. Hmm. Ah, poor angel bunny. <laughs> ah, what the heck? <clears throat> so I guess Photoshop can't even take care of a dragon. A little bit of exercise. Oh, they're making cider. Uh. No. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh dear. He's just getting pampered by this point now. Oh, did Pink about plan this? <clears throat> Man, I suppose he can fly with such tiny wings. I know you had your reservations, but it's good to see you feeling better. Thanks, I guess. That's what friends are for, darling. You're friends. pretty lucky to have friends like these, kid. Actually, I was orphaned as an egg, and Twilight raised me. So these ponies are more than my friends. They're my family. We try our best, but sometimes I worry maybe Spike is... Missing something deep down and dragonish. Really? Wow. I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. Why an Equestria would you be <clears throat> glad to hear that? I wasn't going to say anything since your life seems so perfect, but I have a confession to make. Oh no. Going to Ponyville wasn't an accident. I was looking for you. Spike? I'm your father. <gasps> Sorry. Uh What? So, you crashed in Ponyville on purpose? <clears throat> well, the crash part wasn't on purpose, but heading here was. I've been searching everywhere for you, kid. Did you ask in the Crystal Empire? I'm kinda well known there. Actually, <laughs> Spike's well known everywhere. Not a lot of dragons were hatched by the Princess of Friendship. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You sound so simple. I wish you'd been there to help me search. Oh. I can't believe it. I have so many questions. Well, is he really his father? Answering questions is what dads are for. I guess my biggest question is simple. Why was I an orphaned egg? <laughs> oh, sure I knew this question was coming. Else? It's a lot of painful memories. Yeah. <sighs> Your mother was the best dragon I'd ever met. The dragon lord even picked her to scout for the Oh, her. Mission. And and even though she just <coughs> laid your rig, we knew she'd have to go. But finding the migration route could take a lifetime, and you deserved a chance to know your mother. So I went looking for her, carried your egg to places no dragon or pony has ever been. Past Mount Eris, the abandoned home of the Hippogriffs. Ooh, did you visit Kluge Town? You've been to Kluge Town? Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, the Hippogriffs returned to Mount Eris after we helped them defeat the Storm King. Oh, well, have you heard of the land of the Scale Collectors? Uh-uh. The what? Because that's where your mother's trail finally led. To a prison world of dragon hunters, where I was forced to choose Wait, what? between surrendering myself or surrendering your egg. Of course, there was no way I was going to sacrifice my boy. So they took me instead, and that's where I've been ever since. Locked up somewhere not even the princess of friendship has heard of. Whoa. Okay, how did he get out? I was a boy. Whatever happened to Spike's mom? And how did the egg make it all the way back to Equestria by itself? 
Yeah, there's a lot of unanswered questions I now. All the answers. <laughs> he doesn't. Well, that's all in the past. The only thing that matters now is that we're together. And I'm gonna make up for last time. I hope you don't mind, but I have a list of all the things I always wanted to do with my dad. Mind? Spike, my boy, with you by my side, I feel like we can do anything. Anything? What do you want to do first? Well, I've kind of been working on a list for a long time. Dude, Whoa. you want to do all of this? Oh, I mean, we don't have to. If you think doing everything on this incredibly long list is going to fill the hole where your dragonishness <laughs> should be, then that is exactly what we're going to do. <gasps> okay. Buckball? Um, okay then. I'm surprised that even worked. What the heck? Why it's warming? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm actually having a little bit of doubts, but I'll go with it for now, just to see if it is true or not. Wow, he was hungry. I can't believe we got so many things done. But this is all my stuff. Is there anything you always wanted to do with me? Not really. What? I, I mean, uh, I'm happy to do whatever you want. Whoa. But okay, then. If I had a castle like this, with all this stuff, I'd probably just lay around all day doing nothing like a real dragon. Like a real dragon? Sure. That is actually I'm what dragons do. You don't know any better. Twilight basically raised you as a pony. You're barely a dragon at all. Huh? Oh. Wow. Hey, Spike. How are things going with Sludge? Honestly, I thought having him around would make me feel more dragonish, but I kind of feel less. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have said anything about you being more pony than dragon. I just wish we had more in common. Maybe you two can come up with ways to turn up Spike's, uh, dragonishness. Okay. You think that's something we can do? You know what, son? I think it is. Spike, I'm gonna teach you a thing or two about being a dragon. Is it gonna be a song? So listen up, my boy, <laughs> because I'm only gonna say this once. Look at this castle where you live. It's pretty sweet, right? You can't be a dragon. Who's this voice actor, by the way? Uh, I can't. Look at these books up on the wall. Hey, I just finished organizing this. This treasure <laughs> pile's not right up here. <laughs> Trust me, I got you covered here. You see uh. all this soft pony stuff oh, you're surrounded no. with? This has got to be the first thing to go. Nothing about this place is dragon den. There's too much fluff. All these fancy robes toss in a pile. Take those goblets, dishes. Is that gold still not enough? The pony buying might just take a while. Sure, this place is grandiose, but to a dragon, it's just gross. Time we make the lot all disappear. Reality, you need a dose. To all these ponies, you're too close. You just can't be a dragon here. Good job, my boy. Oh but no. Is, still is he gonna get him to move away? Each and every dragon has a swagger all his own. Watch and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. You can't move like this with so much stuff to weigh you down. A dragon always keeps it lean. Lose this, this. Oh, this is nice. Your life is ah. soft, your scales are quaffed. These pillows, beds, and sheets are washed under light, but it's just not right what's underneath. Every dragon must be free. Look at you, then look at me. Since when do dragons brush their teeth? Ha, ah, please. Uh. This place is grandiose, but to a dragon, it's just gross. Time we make the lot all disappear. Uh, wow, really? Give to me. After that, then you'll be free. You 
just can't be a dragon here. Ha! You're right. I feel better already. See, what did I tell you? You're very lucky that I found you. Now go get me some more. You got it. I'm gonna go get you all the cushy pony stuff I've got. Dad. Great. Go get him, son. Is he just mooching off him? Dragon just can't wait to live here. <laughs> So he's not really his father then, huh? <clears throat> Spike? I just thought I'd check to see if you and Sludge had any luck turning up your dragonishness. It's hard not to feel like somehow I let you down all these years. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to barge in on you. <sighs> what the heck? Don't worry about it. Me castle is Sue castle. Right. Well, I'll just get out of your way. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, Spike. I'm so sorry. My morning is not going well. Yeah. What is all this? Why'd you leave the castle so early? I didn't leave. I spent the night outdoors to get in touch with my dragon side. Outdoors? Yeah, and Sludge asked me to bring him the best breakfast Ponyville has to offer so he can show me how a real dragon would eat it. See you later. Ah. Uh. And that's why I thought we could use the map to... <coughs> hey, gang! <coughs> Dad was just showing me how a real dragon would act in the throne room. Uh-huh. Dragons like to sprawl when they get their claws done. <sighs> now, if you'll all excuse me, it's time for my bath. <sighs> He's just being a big Isn't mooch. the best? I'm not sure that's exactly the word I would use. Uh, Spike, the bath isn't gonna fill itself, son. Be right there, Dad. Uh. I'm glad you're not spending the night outside again. Oh, I am. I'm just looking for a good bedtime story to read to my dad first. It's nice that you have some pony to show you dragon culture. But are you sure that's what Sludge is doing? What do you mean? Well, taking over your room, making a mess of things. <sighs> That is dragon culture. You never acted like that. <clears throat> That's because you raised me. Now I finally have a chance to see how I'm supposed to be. I don't think you're supposed to be any different than who you are. Maybe you just don't like that I have a real parent now. What? That's not true. I'm glad Sludge is here. I just wish he wasn't such a dragon. Of all ponies, I can't believe you would have a problem with that. Oh. oh man. What happened to you? <laughs> Just sleeping outside like we're meant to? It's not like dragons are supposed to live in castles. I guess not. But I live in the school. Nothing says we have to live outside. <sighs> so confused. It's been great having Sludge show me how to be a real dragon. The Twilight just doesn't get it. What do you mean? She can't handle how good at being a dragon sludge is. Maybe someday, I'll be able to lay around doing nothing as well as he does. What? Well, not now, of course. I'm too busy bringing him pony stuff so he can show me what a dragon would do with it. So, sludge just lays around while you wait on him claw and tail? Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> dragons are rude and rebellious, but they aren't lazy lumps who take advantage of their kids. Huh. Now I'm really confused. Me too. Why don't you tell me everything Sludge <coughs> said about being a dragon? Oh boy. Hey, He's gonna be discovered. What's going on, son? Twilight doesn't like having real dragons in the castle, so I told her we're moving out. What? <laughs> <laughs> Spike! I found the perfect cave where you two can live. There aren't even any comfortable rocks inside. That does sound perfect. No, it doesn't. I, I, I mean that. Uh, I'm not sure I fully demonstrated all uh, those dragon. Uh, the con in the con man. But we're not gonna live here anymore, so it doesn't matter. It matters to me! I... I wanna make sure you have all the knowledge you need. But I do! Dad, you've already shared so much. This bed is much too soft. Oh Just no. That A spike off. song? We can't be <laughs> dragons living here. Uh-oh. I'm not 
your father. What? I knew it. I just said that to get in on this sweet castle life. So you pretended to be my dad? Nah, 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 nah. Don't look at me like that, kid. I did what any dragon would do. No, you didn't. Hey, I saw an opportunity and I took it. That's what <laughs> dragons do. No, it isn't. You know what? I don't need this. I'm out of here. Enjoy living Pony Town. <sighs> I'm taking this pillow. Ah. I can't believe wow, adding insult to injury. Like that could show me how to be anything. Uh, it must be hard growing up not really knowing who you are. That's the thing. I know exactly who I am and how I got that way. Yeah, Twilight. Um, Twilight? Oh, hi. Where's your uh -oh. father? He's gone. Turns out he wasn't what a real dragon should be after all. He also wasn't my real dad. Yeah. Oh, Spike. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm the one who's sorry. You were just worried about me and I lost my temper. Yeah. Sludge was just a great big phony. I have yeah. to say, I'm not surprised. Don't know how There's they're gonna no find way their a real dragon father. like that was related to you. But if you still want to search for your real family, I'd understand if you spent more time in the dragon lands. I don't think so. I already know who my real family is. Oh, it's me, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Besides, there's no way I'm living without pillows. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so that was actually quite interesting. Um, hold on, I'm looking at the credits. Yeah, I don't know who that is. So. <clears throat> That was actually quite interesting, actually. So, I was a little bit skeptical at first, and I guess it turns out I was kind of right, so. But that really does suck, though. Because I guess we'll never get to really see who Spike's real parents really are. And. Man, just. Just when Spike, like, broke her heart, that was so sad. Like. Man. Anyway, that is pretty much going to be it for this reaction. I hope that everybody enjoyed. I know I had a lot of fun. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.